some of the early symptoms of diabetic peripheral neuropathy, which is the most common neuropathy, the neuropathy affecting the feet, the legs, and the hands, include a sensation of tingling or paresthesias. And if you've ever sat with your legs crossed for too long and then uncrossed them, you have a pins and needles-like sensation in your, in your legs. And that's very similar to what patients with diabetic peripheral neuropathy may experience. In addition, a commonly described symptom is a burning sensation, particularly on the bottom of the feet. Also, very unpleasant, sharp pains that may pass from the ankles up the calf and heightened sensitivity or increased sensitivity to light touch. When patients develop numbness of the feet or the fingertips, that's an end-stage end sign of diabetic neuropathy. Those are usually patients that have had the disease quite a long time. There are additional symptoms. Some patients lose the ability to, ju to judge heat or cold, and that becomes particularly worrisome when people are taking a bath, for instance. If you have peripheral neuropathy and can't perceive heat and, and step into a very hot bathtub, there's a potential for injury to your foot. And in those individuals, we actually recommend that they measure the temperature of the tub before stepping into the bathtub. Um, the, the loss of feeling is the greatest risk factor in diabetic peripheral neuropathy because those individuals are at risk for harming their feet and not being aware of it. I've seen patients who have come into clinic and on a routine examination of their feet, they have different things in their feet such as tacks or nails, pieces of glass that they're completely unaware of and that's why it's so important that at each clinic visit the practitioner examines the patient's feet particularly in those individuals that have numbness. Uh, the signs of diabetic neuropathy include loss of the ankle reflex, and that should be checked at least on an annual basis by your practitioner. Also, um, inability to perceive a monofilament, and a monofilament is a little tiny, I always tell patients it's like a little fishing line, and we touch it to the tips of the, of the toes and across the bottom of the foot, and we ask the patient if they can feel the monofilament and also if they can localize that, and that's also a fairly early sign of nerve damage to the feet. Other signs include foot deformities, such as hammer toes, or claw toes, and those are a doubling up of the toe, much like a claw, and, and that's a, a physical deformity that's related to diabetic neuropathy. And patients with very severe neuropathy, those people that have lo loss of feeling in their feet, may actually develop fractures of the midfoot and develop a very painful condition referred to as a charco foot. Um, also, ulceration of the foot is very common in individuals that can't perceive light touch or painful sensations in their feet. And that's another reason why every patient with diabetes should have their feet examined every, every single time they go in for a clinic visit.